How's it guys? Yeah, we've got a, a Cape Cobra, also from Snake City. They've let us use this beautiful speckled, hello boy, this beautiful speckled Cobra. This is one of the most venomous Cobras in Africa with an extremely potent neurotoxin. Always generally hood up to protect itself and to kind of warn away predators such as myself to make himself look bigger and more potent. Hello boy. But 90% of the time, snakes will try and evade humans at all costs and it's that 10% of people that will want to get the extra coaster look that will end up getting bit. There is an anti-venom, polyvalent anti-venom available. So deaths are rather rare, but it can cause extremely long lasting damage to your body. They are extremely variable snakes, uh, ranging from the bright, bright yellow down in the Western Cape to browns and reddish colors to this beautiful speckled specimen that we have here. They live in rather dry, deserty places, inhabit farmland areas, and can be a problem in that regard where they will be in the farms looking for rats and mice. These snakes are diurnal, mostly hunting in the early hours of the day. Also very generalist feeders, just like the forest cobra. They don't get very big as cobras, average between 1.1 to about 1.5 meters. See that characteristic cobra hood? He's telling me three, four times, leave me alone, leave me alone. He's even showing me a nice big hood. It's okay, boy. Oh, that was a close one. Let's hope he opens his mouth for us. There you can see his fangs. Amazingly adapted animal. And you can see he's tired. So I really want to put him back now. Thank you very much, my boy. Mwah, you're a star. So, in this edition of Van Gion Snakes, 